German government announced on the 24th of last month that you can move to Germany without needing to have a university degree to work in as a care assistant and in IT. In this short video, I'm going to explain to you how you and your family can relocate to Germany. If you move to Germany under this program, you can sponsor yourself from your home country once you have a job offer. You do not need to have English language proficiency test. The total cost of applying for Germany's long-term visa is only 171 euro your children will be able to move with you the supporting spouse will have an open work permit which allows them to work in any sectors of the german economy you and your children will be able to travel to all the 27 countries that make up the eu you will be able to take your parents with you on this plan and also, in just 21 months, you will qualify to apply for the German permanent resident. This is a golden opportunity for you to live in one of the most advanced and richest countries in the world. I know right now you're asking, what is the German EU blue card? The German EU blue card is designed for skilled workers to come to Germany with a pathway to permanent resident. How do you get this card? It is easy. The German government have made it very easy now for you to move to Germany with your family. I'm going to show, take you through to the uh, website, show you the list of updates that just been made, and I'll explain to you how you and your family can take advantage of this opportunity to move to Germany, which is regarded as the economic powerhouse of Europe. Now, the key to this is to get a job. And once you get a job, you do not need your employer to sponsor you. You will be able to sponsor yourself. Once you have a job, you go to the German embassy in your home country. We've heard stories of people moving to Germany in just 10 days from the day they got a job. The reason the German government has announced this change is that everything that they have done to try to address the problem of labor shortage, it appears not to be working. Germany desperately needs you to come and work. And in a few weeks time, you and your family could be in Germany. If you're seeing my video for the first time, my name is Francis. The sole gain of this channel is to help you to legally migrate abroad without you needing to spend money on lawyers or agent. If you want to legally migrate abroad without spending money, make sure you consider subscribing to this channel. Follow us on all our social media platforms. Consider leaving your comment in the comment section. I will always respond. We want to help as many people as possible to legally migrate in 2024 without needing to spend money on lawyers or agent. You can show appreciation to myself and the team for the effort that we put into research this information by giving this video a like. Make sure you consider subscribing to this channel. We want to help as many as possible to achieve their migration dream. I'm gonna take you to the website now and show you all the key change. The key thing that I want you to have in your mind is that you do not need to have a university degree to now move to Germany to work in IT and as a care assistant. Let me take you to the website now. So as you can see, these are the key, the six key updates that the German government have just announced. This was released just last month. The first on this list is residence for recognition of a foreign professional qualification. It says here, as you can see, in future, anyone coming to Germany will have more opportunities to obtain 
professional recognition by taking part in a qualification measure, adaptation period, or preparatory course with subsequent knowledge tests. Whereas the resident permit section 4 was previously limited to a maximum 18 months for the purpose, the visa will now be issued for 24 months when first issued, an extension of a further 12 months up to resident period of three months is possible. This gives skilled worker the this their the employee more flexibility in terms of in terms of also good those who have strength and do time in another job. So what this basically means you can means is that if you are coming to Germany, say you are a care assistant, you will be coming to Germany or your care assistant or you are coming to Germany as a nurse or as a medical doctor or someone in in any of the regulatory field. You can come to Germany or what this means is that you can come to Germany for a period of 24 months. That period is what is now known as the residence for recognition. It's a period for you to come to Germany to come and reg to, to come and register with the regulatory body in the case if you're a nurse to register with the nursing council and ad additionally you will also be able to do 20 hours work whilst you are in Germany for that period. So if you are a healthcare assistant, you're someone who wants who's planning to move to Germany, this is a fantastic opportunity to move to Germany. Number two changes on this list is employment of skilled worker and labor. Says here, yeah, what is new is that all persons from third country, that is, if you're coming from outside the EU, you're classed as third person, with nursing training below the three years regulatory specialist training in the health and care sector can be employed. You do not even need to have a three years training to be employed as a nurse from the 24th of last month. The prerequisite is that these persons can provide proof of a foreign nursing qualification that has been recognized in Germany. The benchmark here is that, therefore, also the German reference occupation of care assistant. It's also be, to be noted here that training and professional qualification are recognized differently state by state. When it comes to recognizing your your own professional qualification as a care assistant vice the German authority, it is therefore dependent largely on where you would like to work. What we have heard is that it is taking longer to get the recognition in a state like Berlin, whereas if you go to other parts of Germany, it may be, reg it may be recognized quicker. That's something that you should have in mind. If you're seeing value for what you're hearing so far, consider subscribing to this channel. Our sole goal is to help you legally migrate without needing to spend money on lawyer and agent. The third on the list is what is now known as this special regulation for people with professional experience. In future, the requirement for a work visa will apply to all non-regulatory professions. These are almost all to all training profession, not including any medical, nursing, or therapeutic profession in all sectors. You need a recognized professional or university degree in your own country. It is a vocational qualification. A training of at least two years is required. At least two years of experience in the desired profession is also required. What that means is that you don't need to have a university degree. If you are, say, a plumber, a mechanic, a welder, you have two years training and you have a qualification that is recognized and you've got two years experience, that is all you need. Two years that you spend doing the training and two years of work experience, that is all you need. You will be able to come to Germany. Number four on this list is what is now known as Access to the labor market is also made easier. If you have IT skill, Germany is begging you to come. Do you know the good news? 
you do not even need to have a university degree to work in Germany as an IT person. You do not need a university degree. It says here, it says, foreign skilled worker who has a resident permit in accordance with BAB for F4G has not completed a domestic vocational training program or a course of study in Germany will receive a settlement permit in Germany after just three years. Previously, it was four years. In addition, holders of an EU blue card will receive a settlement permit even more quickly after 24 months in employment with EU Blue Card. They can be granted settlement permit if they have sufficient language knowledge even after 21 months. So after if you if you do not understand if you do not have enough understanding of the German language after 27 months you will be granted permit and if you understand German language up to B level you B level 1 you will get your permanent resident after 21 months. This is fantastic news. And the best part is you do not need to have a university degree. I'm stressing this to you. Care assistance, care assistance, IT, you do not need to have a university degree in Germany to work. Now, they, not, they make it easier to bring your, even bring your family, bring your parents Easier family unification for skilled worker. If spouse or under under age children, anyone that is under 18 is classed as under age children, move to Germany to join certain skilled worker. Proof of sufficient living space will not be required in the future. In addition, such skilled worker can also be can also bring their parents. And if the spouse is also permanently resident in Germany parents-in-law to join them if they receive their resident permit for the first time on or after the 1st of March. So, job search, that's the next one, job search following training in the healthcare and nursing. Germany is, Germany is begging for healthcare professionals to come and help them because the country is struggling. It says here, nursing assistants and care assistants from third world countries who have completed their training in Germany will in future be able to apply for a resident permit to look for a job after completing their training. The resident permit is issued for up to 12 months and can be extended for up to 6 months. To do so, you must prove that you are able to support yourself. The last one on this list is employment of trainees, extended resident option for finding a training place. In short, the age limit for potential applicant has been raised from 25 to 35 and the requirement for German foreign skill has been lowered to B1. The previous maximum duration of stay of six months will be increased to nine months. In addition, people with re this resident permit will be able to work part-time for up to 20 hours as well as try employment for up to two weeks. However, when submitting, so what you're hearing from Germany now is that if you're coming on the job seeker visa or you're coming on the, uh, uh, the opportunity card, you can come to Germany and you will be able to work 20 hours and try the job and they lower the language recruitment. And I heard elsewhere that some employers in, employers in Germany cannot employ you without needing to understand any German as well. Mind you, most people in Germany speak perfect English. Germany has now introduced what is known as the bottleneck profession. The bottleneck profession is areas of the German economy that the government cannot find job, cannot find people to fill job. So I'm going to show you the list. I'll leave all the lists in the, in the description section. This includes manufacturing manager, mining manager, information community technologies, professional service managers, child care, health service manager, they need child care, social welfare managers, education manager, financial insurance, age, 
care managers, science, microbiologists, mathematicians, life teachers, engineering. Jeremy is begging you. This is the list here. I will leave the list in the description section for you. I want to please, please, please with you. This website is what is called Annabin. Annabin is a website that you can use before you come to Germany. You will need to use Annabin to check whether your certificate, the equivalent of your certificate in Germany. This is the website. So this, before you start, you must use this Annabin, which is going to be in the description section on our YouTube page. If you're watching me on Facebook, you will need to head to my YouTube channel. That is where you will see all the link. Before you start, the first thing you must do is to use this tool that I give you to work on your CV. And the second thing you must do is to use Anabi to check to make sure that your qualification and that your certificate, if you are a trade person, a plumber, mechanic, welder, your certificate is recognized. Once your certificate is recognized, you are good to go. And the good thing about this thing is that if you find a job in Germany, you can sponsor yourself. You find a job in Germany, you take all your documents to the embassy, you only pay pay the total cost of applying for this German uh, 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 blue card is 171 euro. That is what you will pay to go to Germany. So make sure you start with Anime. Use this tool to work on your CV. This is a fantastic opportunity for you to move to Germany at a time when Germany is begging people to come and work. They lower the requirement because they want people to come and work. Do not miss this opportunity. This is an opportunity that you have to take advantage of. Germany needs you. It's not the time for you to answer the call and go and fill job vacancy in Germany.